Hi everyone, my name is Monica Morales and thanks for joining me for the Monica Makes It Happen show. We fight every day for you. We fix your homes, your community centers, and all of your problems fast. All you have to do is call me or send us your stories on social media at Monica Morales TV. We're making it happen together. Tonight's show is all about helping young people. But first, this. Monica Makes It Happen is sponsored by London Disability, dedicated to helping the disabled get Social Security benefits. And we have a great show tonight. I want to start with a grandma who screamed my name on video when rats were taking over a football field that her two grandsons play on in Harlem tonight. We're meeting this grandma for the first time and talking to her about what happened after our story, uncovering a disgusting problem at the Harlem River Park football field. Take a look. Given weekend, there are seven football games here at the Harlem River Park Athletic Field. And lately, parents say they've had to watch their feet, that it's become a playground for rats. Get yourself out of here. We got this video sent to us on Facebook from a concerned mom at last Thursday night's football practice at Harlem River Park. Oh, Y'all gotta move them bags. Y'all gotta move those book ba kids' bags is open. They're gonna go and they're gonna take home pets. We got too many kids out here. First, you see rats running feet away from equipment bags of children in the field. Coaches and players run through trying to avoid them. Look at the size of this one right under where parents are supposed to sit. We need help. We need help. I just sent the, um, a thing to Monica Morales. You taking it? I'm recording it. We are here, and we met with Jamel Wright, the CEO of the Harlem Jets football team, who reached out to Pix11 News for help. You have a, a legacy of getting it done, of, of, of turning bad situations into good situations, following up to ensure that the people that made promises actually carry through. Wright showed us where the rodents live. This hasn't been cleaned in months. So this is the problem when people ask, why are the rats so pervasive? Because the park isn't being maintained. Why are our kids subjected to this? Somebody please give me an answer to that. Wright runs a youth sports and mentoring program. Kids as young as five years old are here on the weekends. To be fair, Wright says the city recently added a trash can and cut some of the grass here. But Wright says the rat problem continues to persist. The rats are running and, and jumping in, in and out of the bags. In their football bags. In the bags, out of the bags. The rats just parade up and down right there. They parade jump. Parade? Yes, they, uh, they parade all over the place. A lot of parents are petrified. We reached out to the Parks Department, and they are on it. And we'll be back. And if you have a story, do what right to. Just send us your stories and videos to Monica Morales TV on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, or scan the QR code right here, and it'll link you to us. We're making it happen in Harlem. Monica Morales, Pix11 News. And this is why I love Facebook. Joining me now live is Pamela Watson, the grandmother you heard screaming in that video. Screaming my name, that is. Thank you so much, Pamela. It's so nice to finally meet you. Thank to you. <laughs> and I know Miss Sassy is right there with you, right? Your puppy's right there yeah. with you. You are a grandmother, a hero, a community champion. It's always the moms that make it happen, right? Yes, yes. Thanks for reaching out. Why did you at that moment, I mean, it looked like a scary situation, and you said, I got to call Pix11. This is, Pix11's got to come out here. Well, I watch uh, Pix11 every day. Oh. I watch it in the morning and I watch it in the evening and I see how you are on all, every topic, whatever the communities need, you're right there to take care of it. And I never thought that I would be one of those people that you would be helping. Oh, yeah. But There's I'm the video. so happy that you are here to help. You know, it, you touched my heart because we do, no stories too big, no stories too small. Um, but what happened after our story? I know that they always get wind that we're coming. And then when we do come, we want to see instant action. Tell me, is there any progress? Well, they, um, they did clean up some of the, the weeds. They cut some of the weeds. Um, but um, on Thursday when I was out there, a parent did come over to me and say, 
we still have rats running around. Mm. So um, I don't know, you know, how effective what they did mm. is because we're still getting the complaints about the rats. And, and I'm not, you know, I never thought that they would go away that fast anyway. Right. But right. I hope they continue to do whatever it is that they're doing to make to ensure that we have a safe playground, uh, playground for our children. That's right. Um, that's, that's what's right. most important. And no one wants to, you know, kids, they excited to be in the park. They throw their bags down. They won't zip them up. And we don't want a child to pick up their bag and then a rat jump out and attack them. No, it's a you public know? health hazard. And we've been doing yes. it for years. We've done it in community centers. We've done it in homes. We've done it in parks. But this one, what, what I love about the CEO of the Jets and you is that you pointed out that there needs to be a sense of urgency, specifically yeah. in this community. There's so many things that need to be changed and highlighted. So this is the start of a relationship, and that's what we do here, is it's not just one story. We're going to do dozens of stories with you, Pamela, because it's a commitment yeah. to what your fight is. And your fight is you just want repairs, respect, and a healthy place for your kids to play. Not asking for much. Not asking for much at all. And, and you know, we, we, what I find about this, um, this football league is that we are a team. Everybody works together. Mm. The parents, you know, we sit on the sidelines and, and, you know, it's, it's unfortunate to say, but the rats have brought some of the parents closer because, you know, it's like it's us against the rats. Yeah. And we, you know, we communicate. Yeah. It makes parents communicate. It makes us kind of sit close to each other so we can make noise. And so, I mean, out of everything bad comes something good. But we just want our children to have a safe environment. And there's other issues that are concerning but I, um, yeah, you know, we're tackling Pamela, one thing at a time. That's what that's what we do. Is that every story leads to another one, to another one, and um, we are committed to the community, committed to you and moms like you, and we got your back. You know that you got me on speed dial too, so you call me every day. Yes, <laughs> and yes, text me. Yes, and that, thank you so much, Pamela, for your commitment. And we're going to do so many stories to come, especially follow up Friday. You know, we always come back on Friday. We'll be back at that field, okay? Thanks, Pamela. Yeah. Thanks for joining yeah. us. Now, turning now to a Bronx Latina who is the head of one of the largest nonprofit organizations by women for women. It is currently the final week of Hispanic Heritage Month, and I've had the honor to host the 100 Hispanic Women Gala two years in a row. For 26 years, the group has been helping create hundreds of scholarships for Latinas. Catherine Garcia is the national president. She's making it happen. Here's her story. Catherine Garcia grew up in the Bronx and was a teen mom and refused to become a statistic. She went to Hostos Community College and is now a healthcare executive, giving back to our community. Catherine Garcia says when she found out she was pregnant at the age of 17, she thought her dreams of a career in healthcare would be out of reach. It was very terrifying and you know, first you think, you know, what I want to tell my parents. Garcia turned her fear into action, going to college at night, taking out loans to pay for classes. Now, decades later, she is a health care powerhouse, the administrative director, Bronx Care Health System, in charge of their OBGYN department, giving back to other young moms. She's also the newly appointed president of the 100 Hispanic Women Organization. Her group is giving 28 scholarships to Latinas in need this year. I like to see Latinas encouraged. One recipient is 19-year-old Jade Ithier. My mom is a single mother and um, I'm from the Bronx. Um, sometimes I feel like we're stereotyped. It has definitely helped me like build relationships. Ithier is a communications major at Lehman College. She says a scholarship is going to help her afford tuition for one more year. So having this scholarship has definitely put me in the right spaces to um, explore these ideas and get a little taste of each thing that I may want to do. No one understands the need more than Cindy Batista Thomas. She applied for a scholarship in 2014 and she got it, a moment that changed her life. At the time, I had a laptop that was dying and could not afford to purchase another laptop. I was working full time, taking care of two children, caregiving my mother with Alzheimer's, 
uh, and was really stressed out. Batista Thomas got her PhD. She's now the director of the scholarship programs at the very nonprofit that helped her. I also was able to embrace this new community of Latinas. Since 1995, 100 Hispanic women has helped connect Latina leaders from Westchester to New York City to New Jersey. Their primary mission, giving hundreds of scholarships to help young women pursue their college dreams. And it's women helping women, making the community stronger, one scholarship at a time. If you want more information about the scholarship fund, just go to Monica Morales TV on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok or scan the QR code right here and we'll link you to that information. In the newsroom, Monica Morales, PIX11 News. And it is my honor, the national president of 100 Hispanic Women, Catherine Garcia, joins us now live. Hi, Ms. Garcia. Hi, President. Hello. Great. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for having me. We had so much fun at the gala, but it was yes. so important, the work that you've been doing. And I know you got the attention of the governor, you got the attention mm -hmm. of the mayor, um, so you as the president at the top, 28 scholarships given out just this year. I mean, how much money was raised and how, what is the dream? What do you want to make happen? Okay, what I'd like to ha happen is that, you know, in the past we would give seven to eight girls uh, scholarships. Um, since I became president, uh, I met with a lot of our different programs. As you know, we have five other programs that if we can increase um, the amount of scholarship we will give out. So I have such a great program, board members and presidents, that they said, we got this. You know, we dedicated, we're here with you. Um, we will check out funding. We will be out there for each program. We will be there to give them full scholarship. So in, with, given said that, uh, we were able to give 21 more scholarships oh this year. Oh, my. seven. Is that breaking news right here? Do you break in the news yes, here is. with me? Thank mm -hmm. you for that. But, you know, I have a good feeling that we're going to be in the hundreds next year, and I'll tell you why. No. Um, when people hear about the difference that just a few thousand dollars makes for a college student, specifically in that story you saw, $2,000, got her laptop, now she has a Ph.D., that's the secret mm -hmm. to the success, right, of these programs, is that it's just little by little, a little bit makes a huge difference, especially to Latinas, right? Yeah. Yes, no, without a doubt. Um, unfortunately, you know, nowadays, and that's a challenge that I'm finding today, is $2,000, it's barely making it this, you know, to a person. Mm. Um, so we're trying to make it happen to increase the funding so we can increase the amount of money that each girl's get is one and to decrease the amount of scholarship we're able to give out. It's amazing, too, because there's so many people in power that are helping that mm -hmm. are Latinas, yes. right, in the governor's office, mayor's office, and here, right here yes. at PIX11. I hear you're expanding Correct. this program in the tri-state area. I mean, you're everywhere. You're not just New York City. You're everywhere. Yes, we have five different programs. Um, so we have a program in New Jersey, the Bronx, of Rockland County, Long Island, and Westchester County. Yeah. And, you know, now I already, you know, speak to my board, you know, that starting next year, I'm going to start branch out to other boroughs as well. So it's, it's, it's exciting. And I just love that we're part of history yeah. and seeing such a movement. It is a movement of Latinas yes, it is. across it's our It's Latinas tri helping other Latinas increase. You know, everyone has a story. Um, you know, either their parents or they had to work two jobs or they couldn't afford it. Everyone comes with a story, but these are professional women that, of, that we have together. It's like 48 different women from, together with all our programs. We've dedicated and sacrificed a lot of our time to, to do something we believe in. It's to educate, promote, encourage, um, and help guide these young girls who are our future. And again, women helping women. We love that. And you've mm -hmm. got us, Catherine. So let us know. Keep us posted on every little thing. You know, we'll be back. And thank you for joining us, for all of you. Thank and you for, for everyone, me. everything that you do for our community, we are so grateful to you. And thanks for watching mm -hmm. our show. Don't forget to comment, like, and share this show. That's the power of Facebook, YouTube, TikTok. I read all your comments and reach out to us with your stories and videos at Monica Morales TV. Again, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and watch us every night right here on PIX11 at 4, 5.55, right at the end of the 5 o'clock, 6.30. We're making it happen together. See you next time.